Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Hat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. This week is packed with stuff that's fun to read. Gotta start with the DC guys. Lots of books that I'm really excited to talk about this week. As always, I love any week that has Superman, Action Comics, Detective Comics, and Wonder Woman, the Trinity of Comics, the three books that started it all. Let's go through that really quick one more time. Action Comics, featuring Naomi, Brian Michael Bendis, taking over all this Superman stuff, has been doing an all-time great job on all of this. If you're one of the three people that's not reading a Superman book right now, you're really missing out on something awesome. So pick up Action this week and see what I'm always talking about. Detective 1014. Cool Mr. Freeze storyline. Again, one of the best books DC does. Always has been. If you're not following Detective, if you're any kind of Bat fan, you need to pick that one up. Check out that cool, awesome cover. And Wonder Woman. Like I said, this is the great trinity of comics. This is three of the best books out there. These are three books that everybody should have on their list. Enough about that. Plenty of other things to get to. The Flash. DC's big TV star, another one of the best books they do, another book that is on everybody's list, another book that you should have on your list if you're not, and this book would, this issue would show you why. Great stuff. And then there's always more Batman to talk about. This is Batman Curse of the White Knight. Don't need to talk about this one much, but if you don't know much about this one, then you're going to want to grab the trade paperback of the first series, grab the first couple issues of this current series. This is a very, very unique and cool look on the whole Batman mythos. So again, if you're any kind of Bat fan, you're going to want to check out this White Knight stuff because it's super awesome. Batman Superman, the uh, latest incarnation of a book that used to be called World's Finest. I always love any book that has these two teaming up. Obviously, two of the all-time greats. And this series has been especially awesome. If you got to the end of issue number one, it blew your mind and you couldn't wait to get to number two. I mean, just look at that cover right there. That makes you want to read the book. Great stuff. Batman Beyond, one of my favorite Bat titles. This one has a Batwoman Beyond, so that definitely piques your interest. 25th anniversary of Batman Beyond makes that especially awesome. Batgirl, always especially awesome. And Red Hood Outlaw rounds out your Bat-esque books for the week. Like I say, always lots of Bat stuff to talk about. Justice League Dark with my man Detective Chimp. And Terrifics, one of my favorite, favorite DC titles right now, because there he is right there on the cover. Any book with Bizarro is cool by me. Any book with Plastic Man is, and Metamorpho is cool by me. Great stuff. Black Adam is your Year of the Villain one-shot for the week. There's been quite a few of these Year of the Villain one-shots. There's been a lot of this Year of, year of the Villain stuff going on. If you've been following Justice League, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't follow any of this stuff, you might want to pick this one up anyway. A lot of talk about uh, Black Adam and his uh, upcoming movie starring my man The Rock. Good stuff there. Freedom Fighters. Cool uh, new take on the JSA and sort of that Earth 2 kind of stuff. Martian Manhunter, issue 9, getting close to the end of his miniseries. Dial H for Hero rounds out your main DC Universe stuff, but there's always more DC to talk about, like Books of Magic. That's your Vertigo Sandman Universe book of the week. You know we love us anything some Neil Gaiman around here. And then lots of other cool DC stuff to talk about. This is your 100-page Swamp Thing Giant. They've been doing these 100-page giants. There's some new stories, some reprint stories. Uh, awesome to see Swamp Thing in a book. Awesome to get any opportunity to get a super double-sized 100-pager that has uh, a Zatanna story in it. Great stuff there. I encourage you guys to pick up all of these 100-page giants. If you love the character like Batman, you're going to want to pick up the giant. If you don't know much about the character like Swamp Thing or Scooby-Doo, pick up those 100-page giants and uh, treat yourself to some new and fun classic stories. Great stuff there. And Swamp Thing is also your dollar book this week. DC does uh, a whole series of dollar classics to uh, allow you to pick up some great vintage comics for just a buck. If you're old school like me, it's really great to see, to pick up these uh, awesome classic vintage books for just a buck. Uh, if you're not 100 years old like me, then it's fun to see some of this old school stuff again for just a dollar. Fun reading. And then let's talk some DC Zoom. Black Canary is your latest DC Zoom book to go along with Catwoman and Mira and Harley and, and a lot of the great books that they've done. These are... Uh, 
not exactly all ages, but uh, fun, cool graphic novels for any reader. There's uh, Black Canary, and then this is the second version of the Super Sons book. There was an earlier chapter, now that's the other one. Go to DCComics.com, check out all the DC Zoom and DC Ink stuff. If you've got a younger reader in your life, if you've got, uh, or if you're just looking for something light, something fun, that's really, really good quality and fun stuff. And a great week for the Marvel guys, too. This is Marauders number one. The first of, uh, well, I guess second, if you count X-Men number one from last week. There will be a whole bunch of these new X-Men titles coming out, like this one, Fallen Angels, X-Force, all coming out of that House of X, Powers of X stuff. Uh, you know the X-Men always like to crank out 50 different books, but... Find the one that you like. If you're any kind of X fan, I recommend picking up last week's X-Men number one. Grab all these different issue ones as they roll out and see which one uh, you're drawn to. Great stories, great art, like I always say. That one's got Kitty Pride. Amazing Mary Jane number one. Finally, finally, after all these years, Mary Jane gets her own title, and she totally deserves it. This is going to be in everybody's box this week. You've probably already seen the art germ cover online. Like I say, really great to see Mary Jane in her own title, even if it's just a mini. If everybody gets out and buys this today, they'll turn it into an ongoing. So get out there and support Mary Jane Watson. Amazing Spider-Man number 32 kicks off a new story arc after, uh, well, I don't even want to say what's going on in number 30 and 31 if you're not caught up. But catch up quick and pick up this week's 32. If you haven't been following Spider-Man, pick up this week's 32. This is your jumping point to... Uh, Oh, really one of the best titles Marvel has. This is as good as Spider-Man has been in a long, long time. Spencer's knocking it out of the park with all this. Uh, pick up the trade paperbacks to see what you've been missing, or just grab this latest issue and join in on, on all the fun. Amazing Spider-Man Full Circle is this big, giant size $10 monstrosity for all of you guys who can't get enough spider stuff like Spider-Man Velocity, your video game tie-in book of the week, or... Ghost Spider with Jackal there on the cover. Everybody loves to hate the Jackal. That uh, rounds out all your spider stuff for the week. Immortal Hulk number 25. One of my favorite, favorite titles. One of your favorite titles. One of the hottest books in comics. Sells out every issue. Goes to reprint every single issue. If you're one of the three people that's not reading Immortal Hulk, pick up the reprint to number one. Or grab that uh, first trade paperback to get the gist. Uh, or just jump into this latest double-sized issue. Love, love, love this title. It's dark. It's heavy. It's everything the Hulk should be. Like I say, if you haven't been following this, you really need to check out Immortal Hulk. One of the best books out there. Avengers number 25 rounds out the current Ghost Rider arc. Everybody knows I'm a big Avengers fan, and uh, much like Spider-Man, it's as good as it's been in a long, long time. So if for some reason you haven't been checking out the A-Team recently, uh, pick up, probably not this one, go back to number 18 to get the first issue of this arc, or just jump in and catch the conclusion. Always fun time with the Avengers. Tony Stark, Iron Man continues the Ultron agenda. Another founding Avenger, along with King Thor. King Thor number one totally exploded, and I expect number two to sell out, so if you love the Asgardians like I do, you're going to want to get that one on your list. Jane Foster Valkyrie is your other Thor Asgardian book of the week. A lot of talk about Jane Foster these days in that upcoming film. Agents of Atlas, spinning out of all of that War of the Realms stuff. And speaking of minis, this is your uh, Absolute Carnage Lethal Protectors as all that Absolute Carnage stuff starts to wrap up. Punisher Kill Crew, another book that spins out of the uh, War of the Realms stuff. Contagion, the sort of new version of Marvel Zombies. This one might be flying under your radar, but it's been really cool. Great stories, great art, a little bit of everybody in the Marvel Universe taking on the big apocalypse. Fun stuff there. Strike Force. And Fearless round out your mainstream Marvel stuff, but like DC, there's always more Marvel to talk about. Like Luna Snow, that's your future fight book of the week. Another video game tie-in for all you folks. And then this is your latest issue of Star Wars as they wrap up the main book. But this is Star Wars Allegiance. This is your uh, prequel to uh, The Rise of Skywalker. I know you all saw the latest trailer on Monday night. You all cried. Uh, it was great stuff. You're all super excited to see the movie. So pick up the comic. It's already like three issues in. and This is the prequel to the next big thing. You'll want to say that you were there before it was cool. And then it was a great week for all the other guys too. 
Hellboy. It's been a little while since I got a chance to talk up some Hellboy and some Mike Mignola. You know I love Mike Mignola. You know I love everything Hellboy and BPRD, Abe Sapien, Lobster Johnson, Baltimore, pretty much anything that says Mike Mignola on it. This is the third of three issues, so grab all three of these and check out some uh, cool... Hellboy is just a brilliant fusion of uh, horror and superhero and sci-fi and everything that makes comics great, so don't miss out on that one. And Aliens! Your other Dark Horse Book of the Week. Never miss a chance to talk up uh, what a great job they do with Alien and Predator and all the great licensed property stuff. Dark Horse sort of reinvented the concept of licensed property comics. Criminal from Ed Brubaker is your Image Book of the Week because you love that dark, gritty stuff from Ed Brubaker. Sharky the Bounty Hunter is your other Image Book of the Week because much like Ed Brubaker, you guys love everything Mark Miller. But Savage Dragon number 246 is my image book of the week because much like Spawn, Savage Dragon, one of the original image comics, still rolling out, still as awesome as ever. Eric Larson doing his thing, getting close to number 250. If you haven't checked out Savage Dragon in a long time, jump back in and uh, get ready for that big anniversary issue because anniversary issues are always tons of fun. G.I. Joe is your IDW book of the week because nobody does the 80s like IDW. Angel continues the Hellmouth stuff going over, going on over at Boom Studios. I've been saying Joss Whedon has taken all of his Whedonverse stuff over to Boom, uh, Firefly, Buffy, Angel, and he started the Buffy and Angel stuff all over again completely from scratch. So if you're a huge Buffy fan or if you're an Angel fan like me, you're going to want to dive into this stuff and, uh, like I say, start it all over from the beginning. Red Sonia Vampirella, Meet Betty and Veronica, is my Dynamite Book of the Week. Been talking up all of the awesome mashups that have been going on, and it just doesn't get any better than Red Sonia Vampirella, Betty and Veronica. Yes, it's a mouthful, but what a great book. Four of the great characters of comics all teamed up. And you know, Dynamite does such a great job, like Dark Horse. This book is a perfect fusion. It's, it's perfectly Betty and Veronica. It's perfectly Red Sonia Vampirella. It's, it's just enough of all four of them. Great, great stuff. Pick up that first issue for a few laughs and, and good times. Archie vs. Predator is my Archie book of the week. And kind of a Dark Horse book, I guess. Uh, another great example of what I'm always talking about with Archie Comics. They do their all-ages stuff, they do mainstream stuff, they do horror stuff, they do funny and ridiculous stuff like Archie and Predator. Everybody should have an Archie book on their list of one sort or another. So go to ArchieComics.com, check out all of the amazingness that they do. Be on the lookout for the next Vampironica run. And Dr. Mirage is your Valiant Book of the Week. Always encouraging guys to have a Valiant title on your list, like Bloodshot. Bloodshot's about to be uh, the next big thing, and everybody will be asking you, comic guys, what's Valiant? I never heard of Valiant. So uh, turn them on to some Dr. Mirage, some Bloodshot, some all of the great stuff that Valiant does. And it's a good week for the all-ages guys, too. Hey, there's Betty and Veronica again, doing some uh, supernatural ghost hunting just in time for Halloween. Like I say, Archie does a little bit of everything, and they do it all in A-class style, so... Pick up that one for, again, a few spooky laughs for Halloween. Marvel Action Spider-Man is your IDW Marvel Book of the Week. Been talking up what a great job IDW has been doing with their all-ages Marvel line. There's this one, Avengers, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, lots and lots of great stuff. Sonic the Hedgehog and Steven Universe round out your all-ages books. Always encouraging you guys to have an all-ages book on your list. Something fun for everybody. Lots and lots of great stuff. So check those shipping lists. Get down to your local comic shop. Pick up something fun to read. I want to say that this uh, Friday night is our Black Cat Comics Halloween Spooktacular. We're going to do scary stories by the fire this year. Got a campfire we're setting out, setting up out back. Going to share some scary stories. So uh, bring out the friends and family. Uh, bring a uh, original story of your own or bring a story that you like to read. Uh, or just come out and enjoy the spooky tales being shared by cats and kittens everywhere. It's going to be lots of fun. And then throughout the weekend, we'll be giving out comics to kids in costume as part of the Halloween Comic Fest. So uh, get your kids dolled up in their uh, alter egos and bring them on down for some free comics. That's all we got for you for this week. You can check us out at black-cat-comics.com. Black check out the Facebook page, the YouTube channel. Check out the podcast at soundcloud.com. Or get on down here to the good old brick and mortar in Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.